Ultimately, it's FA Trophy disappointment for the books this afternoon. They've gone down 2-1 to Lake Norian, 3-1 on aggregate, and our manager, Gavin Cowan, with me. Um, Gavin, we, we spoke about how you feel. With this. There's frustration there, there's disappointment, there's pride as well. Um, how do you sum that up? Yeah, obviously, extremely disappointed. You know, I, I didn't come this far just to come this far, as they say. You know, I wanted to, um, I wanted to get to Wembley and genuinely believe we could. I felt as though the game was there for the taking, but just didn't, it wasn't our day, unfortunately. Sure. Um, I mean, the difficulty of conceding an early goal, I'm sure you probably drummed into the players that you know to, to keep it tight early on and not let them into the game, and it, it didn't go that way, did it? No, we, did, we, we didn't drum it too much into the players. The staff, we spoke about it, and obviously we spoke briefly to the players, but ultimately you don't want to put something in their head that they might be too emotional about. So, um, yeah, it's, it's so disappointing, obviously, to concede that early. It gave us a bit of a mountain to climb, and then... It took us 20 minutes really to get going. I think we, um, you know, we rabbit in the headlights for 20 minutes, and then after that, Ellis Dini decided to grab the game by the scruff of the neck, not just for his goal, but I just felt as though he just came into his own and started dominating through the centre of midfield, and and it, it kick-started everyone else. Um, and then up until half time, that was it. Then it was it was all us. They obviously had a man sent off, and it was game on. Sure, I mean going in at half time, I mean there's still 25. percent 25% of the tie still to play and they're, they're a man down. You, you must have been feeling optimistic at that point. Yeah, I was extremely confident. I, I just felt as though the longer the game, the longer the game went on, the, the more chance we'd have of getting a goal. And we had numerous chances, obviously cleared off the line, Shane's header, chances the keeper saved, really times when we should have done a bit better, flashing across the goal. It just wasn't it just wasn't to be today, was it? It wasn't our day. But again, I just felt in this particular corner here when we give away the free kick, just a bit of naivety, you know, a little lack of professionalism. We've just got to remember not to be in a rush. You know, like against FC United, we were in a rush to win the game. Um, we, don't, we don't need to be in a rush, you know. The longer the game went, the more chances that we would have got. And we just needed to stay in the game. But as I keep saying to the players, everybody's an equal at set pieces. It doesn't matter whether you're Barcelona or Bradford Park Avenue, you're an equal at set pieces. So whether it's 10 men or 11 men, the moment they got a, a set piece in this corner, it was a chance for them, you know, and they seized it. And like I say, you know, you know they're, they're a very good side. I mean, Justin's a, a class act. All of their staff have been brilliant. You know, we've, we've been trying to get under their skin a little bit. And um, I think we did on occasion. I think they'll probably say so themselves. They recognised it, but you know, they're just absolute class act and, and that, that goes through to the players, you know, they, um, they're so so resilient, you know, when when they're up against it, when they're probably not in the game or they're the second best team on the pitch for five, ten minutes, they're so resilient, they dig in and that's, that's championship cup winning teams, you know, and I'm sure they'll go on and, and do both. Um, but yeah, you know, we, when it's done, it's done, you know, and I'm just congratulations to them. I thought they were brilliant and um, and as Justin's just said to me there, you know, the players done us proud and we give them something to think about, didn't we? When no one gave us a chance, you know, we, we gave them something to think about and really pushed them right to the end. So, you know, I couldn't be prouder of the players. Sure. I mean, in, in the course of this trophy run, I mean, we said not had it easy really at any stage of this. Is, is that, have the players learned a lot about themselves? Have you learned a lot about the players and the way they... All the they've... time. Well, I didn't really watch the last two or three minutes. I was busy just looking around the ground and trying to take it all in and trying to enjoy it, you know. It was... Um, which is difficult to do, but they're the times you've got to do it. You know, like someone asked me a question a minute ago about the supporters. You know, the mark of a good club is the supporters, especially this club. We are a fans-based club, you know, and um, we've just got to remember when things are going well like this and we get crowds like this, it's amazing. But the mark of a good club is when things aren't going so well or, you know, that's when the players really need you. You know, the players really need you when things aren't great. And, and that'll be my message to them. Just awesome again today. Everybody just really believed into the vision that I've thrown at them, thrown at them you know, I'm sure. A lot of people, probably including yourself, Richard, probably thought I was a bit of a psychopath at the start of the season, but I genuinely believe it, you know. And um, the, the silver lining today is that you've essentially got a packed ground, and we've been here. We've got the experience of being in this ground when it's full. No surprises, and when, we, when we're in the playoff final, we'll know that we'll know exactly what it looks like. We'll know exactly how it feels, and that's the silver lining. So today we hurt, but playoff final when we win that. You know, we won't be hurting them. Sure. Speaking very confidently there about playoffs and straight back into action on Tuesday, aren't you? Bradford Park having your way. Yeah, um, confident, is it... confidence though, Rich, is a con, isn't it? That's what it is. It's, it's courage. I, and I believe in the players. They can do it. I'm not saying that they, they will. I'm just saying I, I believe they can. You know, and it's, it's up to them. Like you say, we've, your, your words there, they've learnt a lot about themselves today. We've learnt a load, load through the last two legs. You know, what it is to be a team like Leighton Orient. So efficient. Never waste a, you know, they're like a boxer that doesn't waste punches. Clearance gets cleared. 
shots hit the target. You know, they're, they're the mark. That's what we've got to achieve to be. It was a privilege to go up against them. Absolute privilege. The football club is like a team I supported as a kid, uh, you know, when I played there as, as well as QPR. And, and, and it was just an absolute privilege to go up against them. And our lads can learn today. They can learn what it is to be that team. And, and, and we're capable. We've shown that over the two legs. We're capable of matching them. Sure. So, a lot to look forward to. You don't think the players will need any lifting to go into Tuesday? No, there? I tell them to be, you know, like I say, when we win, revel in it, but Sunday you wake up, it's a new day. It's the same when you lose. You know, I want them to hurt tonight. I want them to be disappointed. We didn't come this far to come this far. You know, we came, we, we, we enter every competition and every league to, to win it. Mm. You know, so ultimately now we've got, to, we've got to refocus and recalibrate and make sure that we... Um, we bring this full circle now. You know, we can't just have this amazing season with nothing at the end of it. We've got to bring it full circle, and everybody's get, got to get behind it, the supporters included. And they did that today, and I know they'll do it between now and the end of the season. Okay, that's great, Gavin. Cheers, Thanks very so much. Trophy's been fantastic Thanks, for us. Mate. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.